Hey, hey, Oscar, thanks for coming down. Hey, look, I know you're relatively new to town, but I wanted to take the chance for the DAV 5K coming up here in a couple of weeks uh, to show you around over the Rhine, downtown Cincinnati, the city where DAV was founded more than 100 years ago. Sounds good, let's go. We're starting here at Memorial Hall because this is where DAV started. This is where Robert Marks first held meetings in 1920 with his fellow disabled veterans. They got together because there was no single resource for them to help them with things like their health care, things like benefits, because benefits didn't exist for these disabled veterans. Uh, and Robert Marks thought that did not work. That was not enough for the men who had sacrificed so much. In 2020, 100 years after DAV was founded, Memorial Hall invited us to put up this historic marker right here in the hallway when you enter the location. You're a service-connected, disabled veteran of the war in Iraq. I'm curious, you're in a space like this. How do you feel? Um, it's, it's, it, I mean, first of all, this building is beautiful, and it's just, I would li like to have been around when they had those conversations that started our great organization, and, and to see how they would feel how we are today. Now look, Oscar, I know you know a thing or two about a great burger. You're a Californian, I get it. You guys got your West Coast burgers out there. This stuff is great. But in my opinion, growing up in Cincinnati, nothing beat Frisch's Big Boy. Uh, and they're also going to have pie babies at the finish line at the 11th annual DAV 5K, which is coming up downtown November 11th. It's gonna be down at the banks. So I think that'll probably cut, I don't know, minute, two minutes off my 5K time to get to those pie babies. So give it a try. Pretty good, right? That was great. Yeah. So Frisch's is not only gonna have those amazing pie babies at the finish line of the DAV 5K presented by USAA, they also have special deals going on to support DAV in the month of November. Select restaurants in Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana will round up at the register for DAV, and four locations will be donating 15% of sales during a one-night fundraiser. All right, Oscar, my friend, somehow I am still hungry. So I'm gonna take you over to Taste of Belgium. I got a little surprise for you. Right, let's go. We are at an OTR classic. This is Taste of Belgium. It was founded in Finley Market right up the street, but this is their first restaurant. Uh, and let me tell you something. You don't know that you need a Taste of Belgium until you have a Taste of Belgium. Check this out. Back in the early 2000s, uh, a guy named Jean-Francois Fleche went back to his native Belgium brought back a 100 plus pound cast iron waffle maker, started making waffles over at uh, Finley Market and over the Rhine. And from that point in time, in less than 15 years, they have launched nine different locations around the tri-state area. What Taste of Belgium is really known for is putting unique American twists on traditional Belgian food. And so I'm sure Jean-Francois uh, is absolutely completely proud of what he's been able to accomplish here in a very short period of time. November 1st through the 14th, they have a special DAV cookie with our DAV green on it and everything uh, that is going to be sold at all nine locations and a dollar of every cookie goes back to DAV. Plus, as you know, that this year's DAV 5K what are they going to have at the finish line? Free waffles. Free waffles, that's right. Hey, speaking of DAV 5K, let's go down and take a look at the start and finish line from one of my favorite locations in the city, Moorline Logger House. One thing that I'm super excited about is that the DAV 5K presented by USAA is on Veterans Day this year, right here outside these doors on the banks here in Cincinnati. One of the places where we will be celebrating as we wrap up is gonna be right here at Moorline Logger House. And you and I will be able to celebrate our finish with DAV's own special logger. Back in the mid 1800s, there were almost 40 breweries right here in Cincinnati, and they put out nearly 30 million gallons of beer every year. Cincinnati was known as uh, one of the beer capitals of the world, certainly of the United States, uh, and lager was the beer of choice. So it's super cool that we have a DAV lager that connects us to that history. And when visitors come down to Moorline Lager House and they want to find DAV beer, DAV's logo is right on the tap, DAV Special Lager. 
and two dollars of every beer helps DAV provide services to disabled veterans and their families. And that lasts the whole month of November. It's good beer. Well, thanks for joining me today, Oscar. I know that doesn't exactly make you an honorary Cincinnatian, but I hope you had a good time. Well, thank you, Rob. I appreciate it. I'm looking forward for the DAV 5K.